Hey guys, welcome once again to Billy Bob Trucking. Yes, let's drive ETS2. Uh, I can't remember what episode number this is. And in fact, yeah, it's been some time since I last did one. Um, various reasons. Can't really go into all of them. But uh, yeah, um, there was meant to be another episode because you may notice the truck is a slightly odd colour compared to last time. It was all white. Yeah, uh, I did a job and then the, well, the recording went corrupt. So I didn't have time to publish it because, well, it was corrupt, <laughs> basically. So, uh, yeah, um, I thought about trying to re-record it, but at the time I was tired, so I was like, put it off, put it off, put it off, and then, yeah, various different reasons has resulted in being so much later and I've only just got around to doing this one now. So I've already got the job picked up. I managed to find the I've managed to find the auto save point for when I was picking up the job. But not prior to that. The previous auto save to this one, I hadn't even brought this truck. Go figure. So yeah, um, we're gonna redo this job. I'm picking up some very late Christmas gifts uh, from Kessel and take them to Zurich. Um, for 22,161 euros. Um, so yeah, let's get driving. Um, I don't think I've put the trailer on yet. No, I haven't. So, uh, get everything just comfortable. If you remember last time, we just literally brought this truck, this uh, Scania, uh, with the 360 brake, I wanna say. But I can't remember exactly. Oh, I forgot I've got reverse and bleep on as well. Yay. Oh, wrong way. God, I feel rusty. It's been a little while since I played ETS. Um, I've been trying to... Oop, there we go. Been trying to boost my Twitch a bit, and... I've been having a lot of fun with War Thunder. So that's what I've been doing a lot of recently, Mitley's War Thunder. So, yeah. Right, let me just check traffic. Uh, of course you can always check me out on Twitch. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Blackhawk SO. Um, give us a follow. It's always much appreciated. Uh, there is also, I've just set up a TeamSpeak server. So nine times out of ten uh, you could possibly join me and have a chat whilst I'm streaming. Um, unless I'm in a squad, in which case I'll be in a protected room with just my squad mates and no one else. And finally I can pull out and then it's a red light. Typical. But yeah, I've uh, been doing a lot of streaming recently. Um, checking out the odd new game while streaming as well as just doing a lot of War Thunder. And having a lot of fun streaming that to be honest. So yeah. <sighs> It's just been madness. Absolute madness. Oh, tab, so take handbrake off, doesn't it? But yeah, a lot of things have been going on. So, yeah. Um, okay, they let me pull out. Thank you. But uh, I am currently sitting in a in my office and very cold. Because basically our boiler's gone kaput. <laughs> uh, waiting for the landlord to... Well, the landlord got a plumber around today to look at it, and the plumber's looked at it and then gone, yeah, I think it's knackered. So he's now got to wait to speak to the landlord, and we've got to wait in a while people discuss money. Joy. But talking of money as well, Google, or oh, YouTube, you're arseholes. <laughs> well, kind of Google, more than anything. Uh, you may have noticed, like everyone else, I have AdSense activated, or adverts activated on my videos. Great, yeah, it should be great. Except that Google still has not actually processed my AdSense application from two years ago. I initially put in my AdSense application two years ago and they still haven't processed it. Go figure. So, yeah, all those adverts you may see in my video. All that is going to Google, I'm afraid. I'm a bit annoyed. And the thing is, unless you are big bucks money earner for Google, 
you can't speak to them. Or YouTube, should I say, sorry. You can't speak to them. Full stop. Which is uh, very frustrating because, you know, I just want to speak to someone to say what's going on with my application. Why are you not accepting it? I've got a feeling, immediately, that um, one of the reasons is due to. I've got to set up a, uh, an AdSense advert block um, on my website um, for them to fully accept it. Now, I've put a block on there, the block's been on there for a while on my personal website. But because technically it's a business site, it officially goes against the contents policy rules for AdSense. Yet again, go figure. So, what it looks like I'm going to have to do is basically build a second website for myself, um, which I'm thinking of doing anyway, and put the ad block on that, uh, the, the advertising section on that, resubmit the application with the new URL, and hopefully get accepted. Hopefully. But it is crap. It's just annoying and frustrating. Because at the end of the day, you know, I'm not expecting to earn loads of money from YouTube. Because no one really does, unless you're PewDiePie. In which case, all you have to do is sit there and go, <coughs> and scream at games, and you seem to have money thrown here. Go figure. Yeah, that is money catchphrase, by the way. Go figure. Um, but yeah. Uh, it'd just be nice to just earn a little bit. But, yeah. It's annoying because there's certain things I wanted to set up, you know, uh, like discount codes for stuff. Um, and basically, because my main website that I have is technically a business website, they won't set them up. Or my YouTube channel has got enough followers for it to set one up for this or that or this and that and it's just, yeah. Someday I will get sort of something out. Um, and by the way, if you are watching this and you just need to check on this, get over to my Twitch and hit follow. Basically, I have 10 games to give away, uh, which I will give away when my Twitch hits 100 followers. Um, these games were kindly donated to me by uh, a viewer and subscriber, uh, follower, should I say, not subscriber, and follower. So if you want a chance to win one of 10 games, get over to my channel, follow. Um, if you follow while I'm streaming, then you know, I always give a shout out, thanks very much, kind of thing. Um, and yeah, you got a chance. Then basically, when I hit 100 follows, I'll make an announcement when it's going to happen. But they will be given away live in stream um, through um, a gift, grand prize giveaway, polling system thing. So yeah, that should be pretty cool when that happens. Um, they're not crap games either. You know, yes, there's a copy of ETS in there. Um, ETS 2, that is, if I'm correctly. Um, some of the XCOM games. Excuse me for yawning then. It is late at night when I'm film recording this. Yeah, some of the XCOM games and some of the bits and pieces. So, you yeah. know, it's not like it's all crap, which is cool. So, yeah, get over to Switch, get a follow. Um, come and hang out on streams, come and hang out in the team speak. Um, you know, it's quite common that I'll squadron up with uh, viewers if you play War Thunder. Um, and what I haven't done yet is on World of Tanks, I haven't really done any platoons in that yet. Um, mainly because I haven't really streamed much World of Tanks. I, I've, I've kind of got out of favour with it. I've, I've got a bit bored. Because... I don't know if it's because I've hit the grind point where basically they just want you to hand over money or what. I just, I, I don't know. I'm just not enjoying World of Tanks at the moment, where it's War Thunder I am. And I'm doing really well at War Thunder, so. 
if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let's keep going with it. But in the meantime, I have been checking out other games, I'll say. Um, I did check out and stream um, Fractured Space, which is a kind of like a hybrid of World of Tanks and War Thunder in space. <laughs> it's really weird. But you get a choice of class of spaceship. I might do a video on this actually, come to think of it. Uh, you choose a class of spaceship, there's a, that's like a sniper class, there's a flagship and all this kind of stuff. And that car is going to screw me over. No, he isn't. Good. Uh, there's a flagship, um, there's like certain support ships and attacker and all that And it's battles, space battles. It's awesome. Um, it's in early, early access at the moment. I mean, it's still technically an alpha. Um, it's going to be free to play eventually, but uh, I wanted to support the devs, so I brought into the early access, which at the time was only five pounds to buy into. It was virtually nothing. And yeah, I've been having some fun with that, I must admit. It, it's a bit quiet at the moment. Um, Thursday nights is their uh, big pushing it night where you, um, it's their targeted time to get everyone who has it on the server. Uh, you can go up against the devs as well, you know, the people who made the game, uh, jump in the team, speak with them, and discuss ideas for the game and stuff like that. And it's just a good laugh. But yeah, Fractured Space, check it out, it's well worth it. I say you can get buy into the early access, it's only like five pounds. It's totally worth it. So yeah, um I'm trying to think what else there is that I need to speak about. Um Mine's gone blank. That's just typical, isn't it? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, ETS2, Scandinavian mod coming soon. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, I am drawing blank. I keep thinking, I, every time I do one of these, which, yes, I've only done a couple so far, I keep thinking to myself, oh, I should write down a list of things to talk about. And every time, I forget to write a list. Because I'm just clever like that. I just suddenly realised my driver's getting tired. And I've got to rest in 4 hours 39, and I have 5 hours left on the job. Yeah, I need to find somewhere for my driver to sleep. So, um, if I drive for as long as I can, I'm trying to think now. Now look at the map. That's going to be within the last, so I reckon it's five hours to complete, so. I might just make it to this rest stop in time. I'll aim for this rest stop and I'll stop there. If worst comes to worst, I can pull into Stuttgart and rest there, so yeah, got a plan. But yeah, Scandinavian mod looks awesome. Can't wait for that to come out. Uh, and I know what's been happening since the last one. Top Gear is back. <laughs> oh my god, this series has been good so far. Oh, yeah, how it's been good. And my god, am I really struggling at the moment with size essential. Yeah, this series has been awesome. And fun. And silly as always. And I really should just suddenly thought that I should actually get my screenshot, shouldn't I? Hang on, it means to get past these trees. And let's see, we'll get a good photo. See all the secrets of YouTube now come out. Look at this, look how look at my truck is. With the, the green, uh, what's the controls again now? C and X to rotate. Oh, oh yeah, that's cool. Uh, depth of field or field of view. I want to keep. 
just the edge of that in. Uh, where's my focus on? Try the slightly blurred uh, blurred transition depth. I want the truck in focus. Just about. And there. A very strong blur. Oversaturate, because why not? And let me just check. Yeah, I like the look of that. There we go, screenshot done. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> right, back to driving. Yeah, top gear's back. And yeah, that's been fun. Some uh, possible controversies already. But then again, it wouldn't be top gear if there wasn't. But yeah, it's been, it's been fun. But it's been an odd series as well, I think. The guests have been pretty alright. Challenges have been funny, but uh, I don't know, it's just it's lacking something this series. I don't know if it's just me, but it is definitely lacking something. Why exactly might be, I have no idea. But yeah, so that's been a good laugh. In a way. Uh, how am I doing for fuel? I'm fine for fuel. Uh, what else is there going on? Ooh, I am really jumping topics today. Next week, F1 is back. That's my Hong Kong celebration for Formula One being back next week. Yes, Australian Grand Prix is next week. That definitely dates exactly when, even though there's a date below the video, but that definitely dates when I recorded this video. <coughs> oh well. Um, yet again, I've put it out. I record on a Monday, but I'm recording on the Monday, and I'm going to edit the Tuesday on the Tuesday at some point perhaps Let's see what I'm in mood I mean I say because I've got no heating at the moment being out of bed is a bad idea not that the weather's terrible at the moment it's just this house is very cold all the time which is not very nice and I'm just going to change lane there we go there we are nice little <laughs> but yes, um, what was I just saying? Yeah, Formula One's back, and my god, did the Mercedes look quick? Uh, I've been reading up about test testing coverage, all that stuff, and yeah, it doesn't look like Mercedes have lost any pace <laughs> at all. I mean, how the other teams must have felt and all that going, yeah, we feel really, really confident, you know, as, as times have been pretty good. And then Nico Rosberg was allowed to put the super soft, no, soft tyres, sorry, not super soft, soft tyres on. And went out on seven tenths a second faster than anyone else had been the whole of the test. Hello. Seven tenths. Just because they changed tyre. And it wasn't even the softest tyre. There was a softer tyre. They could have gone faster. And when they interviewed him afterwards, they were like, oh, the car looks really fancy. He was like, oh, it was all over the place. Could get more time out of it. What? Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. God knows how thing, fast that thing is this year. But it sounds like it is fast. But yeah, it should be good. Um, of course, there's the issue with Fernando Alonso, which is a shame that he is currently going to be out of the first race um, due to uh, doctor's orders. And it just seems such a strange situation what's going on there with McLaren. You know, uh, a lot of mixed messages coming out of the scene about what happened. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know which to believe and which not to believe. I mean, I, I can totally understand the doctor going, look, you met, you had a concussion. I'd rather you not risk it until we 100% satisfied you're all in the clear. I totally understand that. But just, I don't know. The way the press releases came out and stuff, just everything seems a bit weird. But 
Heck, I'm not a doctor. But also the great news to do with Formula 1 as well, though, of Mana F1, or what everyone used to know as Russia, so it's now, now Mana Russia, managed to get the car ready, got money in place, and got their sh- car shipped. Well done. Well done, lads. I, I, in such a short time, that team has seemed to have got a quite a little bit, a bit of a soft spot in a lot of people's hearts. Um, because the way they performed last season. Oh, and changed three even names. Um, yeah, just because the way they seemed to compose themselves last season, uh, even to the times when they were out of money, they didn't just stand there with begging tin out like the other team did, who are now in liquidation. Uh, having all their assets sold off in an auction, catering. At least Marusha didn't do that. Excuse the pause, then. You know, you want again. Oh, I feel tired. Never tired. Never tired. Never drive tired. That should be the rules that you're meant to follow. Whoops. <laughs> Yes, but you no. Know, well done to Marusha. Again, finances in place, getting shot down by Force India when they went to the technical group and went, "Can we run a 2014 car?" Just for the beginning of the season, give us a chance to build a new car. And they're like, uh, "No." Force India straight away to rent, "No," because we don't trust you got the money there. Basically, Force India went, "No," because if you don't compete, that's 35 million pound dollars. Or pounds, I think it's dollars, that you just get a prize money to you, get separated to the rest of us. So basically, Force India and Bob Lerny were just there going, okay, some money for our pockets please, rather than supporting the small team, which is something they were campaigning for all of last season. Hmm. Double standards or what? But no, um, eventually they got permission to run the 2014 chassis Long with, as long as they did 2015 safety upgrades, which they've done, it passed crash tests and everything. And the other day, they sent out a tweet of a lorry going, That's no end, that's no normal lorry, and that's no normal freight. Basically, announcing that their car was in the back of a lorry on its way to the airport to be flown out to Australia, which is just absolutely amazing. Great news for them. Well done, lads. Um, and Forza Jewels, of course. But yeah, great, great news. And yeah, I can't wait for Formula 1 to be back. It's been away too long. Yeah, I'm a bit of a Formula 1 addict. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've watched it ever since I was young. I, what, I remember exactly where I was the day that Ayrton Senna died. You know, I remember exactly what I was doing and everything at the time. And I just noticed it's about to rain, I just need to check where I am, and I missed my turn in for Stuttgart. Crap. I can only hope I can make these Zurich, these rest stops just outside Zurich. Damn it, I really messed up there. And it is literally about to start raining. I like some full. Is that one full? Oh no, that's full. Have I got beacons on this thing? No, they're not yet. But yes, um, where was I? Lost my train of thought now. Yeah, I, I've been an F1 fan for many, many, many years. And I got them excited. Every season I'm excited, to be honest. Even during the Schumacher years of six back to back world championships, or I think it was five back to back and one previous or something, if I remember correctly. But even during those years, the Ferrari years, I still enjoyed it. I must admit, they did waver a bit during the Red Bull years. Uh, a little bit, I must admit. But, um, yeah. And I was looking at I might get I get away with the whole rest stop issue. Nice. Yeah, during the Red Bull years, it did waver a bit, the Vettel years. But, my excitement 
<sighs> yeah, you should have tried. I'm yawning as it is anyway. Mike Sutton got reunited last season with the uh, Mercedes boys and the way they were fighting. How much the, pack, the rest of the pack's kind of closed up. And one of my personal favourite teams when I was young, Williams, doing well again. And oh, it was an absolute classic of a season last year. And it, oh, I just hope this year's going to be better. I, I'm hoping for a Williams victory this year. Uh, to scrub off the history of the, book of the last victory they had was due to the noxious Pesta Magnata. I'm not a, not his biggest fan, admittedly. Not to make that obvious at all. But yeah, I just I hope and pray that they get a victory because they deserve it. They're a cracking team. I think every Formula One fan has a soft spot for Williams. They just don't want to admit it. Oh, that Lauren will, though, to be honest. I mean, everyone remembers the Damon Hill years and. Some of the people may not be old enough to remember <sighs> the Mansell years, which were awesome as well. As for us, I'm in a tunnel, I can go off for a moment and then I'm about to go outside again, so then you go back on again. Just saved it for a second, and here we go, I can do a rest stop. Yeah, it means I'm going to finish this job in the dark, but by the time the driver's finished resting, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, it's gone red. Hopefully it stopped raining. Okay, let's go through the station. And let's just find ourselves a parking spot. There's one. Ooh. That was close. love to having this. I'm not going to get sidetracked again because I've completely lost my train of thought again. I wish there was washer wipers. Can you imagine it? I know they do an OMSI. Was it OMSI too? Does it? I think both OMSIs actually do. But yeah, as the window wiper goes, you just get zzzz, and you see a bit of water on the screen. And that'd be cool. Yeah. Anyway, let's go and finish this job. Dark, unfortunately, but yeah, you can't, can't win them all. I think I didn't have time to sleep before picking up this job. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have, to be honest. Yeah, can I pull out? Oh, wait, actually, I think it's just a merging lane, isn't it? Just a merging lane? Oh no, can I pull out? That's safe too. But yeah. Um, Williams, yeah. Mansell years. Mansell mania, and all that lot. Oh. I'm only, yes, I'm in my 30s. Some people think I'm too young to remember that stuff. But I do, and I've seen the replays and all that kind of stuff, and it was, it was amazing. Rose, kind of semi rose tinted spectacles, but I oh, won't. Well. But yes, Formula One is back this weekend coming, and I might try and keep my tradition going. I've trying, trying my best to stay awake to watch the very first race of the season live, which is in Australia. And obviously, I'm in the UK. And it's a bit just just a bit of a time difference, which can cause issues with. Sleep and stuff. But I like to give it a go. It's always fun. Uh, 
far with the left of this. Not far now to go on this job. Oh, slow it right down because it's one of these nasty junctions with the road sign. Okay, and I managed to avoid the road sign, which is nice. Yes. I'll point out one of the reasons why you got this video today is because um, A, I remembered that I hadn't done one in a long time, and B, when I was planning on live streaming, my computer today decided to turn and go, oh yeah, the internet, I've heard of that. Yeah, I'm not going to connect you to it though. I don't know why, just my internet just suddenly randomly decided, oh, you what, I'm not going to bother connecting to the internet today. I'm going to figure out. So hence you've ended up with a video because of an offline game. <laughs> uh, I mean I've managed to get it going again now. Which is good. <laughs> um, but yeah, it just it's totally unplanned. Actually. Very, very unplanned. But I think it's been a reasonably really successful video because of that that I don't want to speak too soon, but I haven't yet crashed. Shh, don't say anything. Me the first time I did this journey, I mean, I previously recorded this. Yeah, I, I, there was a bit of damage to the truck, just, 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 just a bit. I was a bit impatient at some junctions because I was very, very, very tired, and I was kind of breaking the speed of it to get there, which is not clever. The game punished me, but yes, uh. Episode number this is now. Oh, I think it's actually episode five. But yes, I don't have time to possibly start doing wrap ups because I am almost there to drop off this job. So, yes, um, please, please, please give us a follow. Uh, please subscribe to YouTube if you haven't already. It's always much, much appreciated. Also, please always give us a follow over on Twitch twitch.tv forward slash blackhawk so um, link will be in the video description including a link to a thing that I found where basically this isn't being run by me but I found out about it uh, it's a chance to win a gaming rig a uh, Corsair supported gaming rig it comes with a Corsair peripherals um, a GTX 970, if I remember correctly, I think it's like a 970 or 980 in it. Uh, it's just a pretty nice baller uh, rig. I'm just going to stick the link in the video description because because I found it and I thought it'd be cool. Uh, they did it because of um, I want to say PDX, some big event, tech event that's going on at the moment over in the states. Uh, they've uh, joined up with some company to give away a gaming rig. Of course they have. Um, so yeah. Oh, PAX. Sorry, that's it. PAX East is on. Um, that's why they've done it. They've given away the gaming rig. Uh, I found out about it and thought I'll share the entries. <laughs> share the link to enter. Uh, so if you want a chance to win, a pretty nice looking from bits of specs I've seen, nice looking gaming rig with some lots of Corsair peripherals and check out the link in the video description as long as I don't put it in, that is um, let's get this parked up submit this to Squirrels, uh, Squirrel VTC, because why not, there we go, and that is that journey done, that was only a short one today, 34 minutes, short video, but it's all good, hopefully it won't be as long to the next one, and also if you want to support me, 
in the video description will be a link to uh, a Twitch donation thing for me. Um, I'm currently running uh, a donation goal to get a um, flight stick system so I can do some flight sim stuff that would look pretty cool on YouTube and on the Twitch and all that stuff. So if you can help me out and are willing to donate then please do, everything is much appreciated. The link to that will be in the video description as well, as well as the link to the um, TeamSpeak server, which you can hang out with in the time. And I really should be making a note of all these links I'm going to do. Uh, would help if I had a pen. Oh well, I'm going to be watching this video back to remember all the links I've got to put in. I think it's the PDX LAN thing, no, Paxis thing, uh, Twitch, Twitch donations and something else team speak yes there we go all good until next time maybe next time will be bit of bob maybe maybe another game i don't know let's wait and see but catch you over on twitch give me a shout if you see me over there always be willing to say hello back and uh yeah till next time keep driving be safe and have fun see ya